Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot and today I'm doing another reading for Pisces. So let's get into it. Asking for guidance from the divine, from Isis, from our ancestors, aunties, uncles, grandparents, great grandparents, my father and the angels, sending unconditional love always. Guidance for Pisces. Today is Saturday the 4th of March. Happy birthday to the March Pisces babies. Hope you have a great day today on your birthday because you deserve it. Okay. Messages for Pisces, please, spirits. Messages for Pisces. So we've got the Knight of Swords. It's air energy. We've got the Six of Swords. We've got the World. We've got the Tower. We've got the Seven of Swords. And then we've got the Ten of Swords. This looks like an interesting reading. And then we've got the Two of Wands on the back of the deck. Okay, so it looks like there might be someone that's coming in hastingly. Um, you could be leaving a situation because of betrayal, maybe. Let's get some clarifiers out. One more. What is this Knight of Swords for Pisces, please, spirits? What is this Knight of Swords? We've got the Four of Cups, which is water energy. We've got Judgment, which is Scorpio. And we've got the Seven of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Page of Swords on the back of the deck. So there could be someone in your energy coming in hastingly. They look very um, on a mission. On a, they don't look happy either. So this person could have um, missed an opportunity with you. They could be getting a judgment. There could be a judgment call coming in. There could be Scorpio in their chart. But it, yes, this person could have um, hurt you in the past. With the Seven of Swords coming out. A lot of swords. So a lot of logical thinking. A lot of using your brain, not your heart. This person may have missed an opportunity, but they see the cup. They could also be in and out of your life and also watching you somehow. What is this Six of Swords for Pisces? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles, so moving the Karma Water. To this Ace of Pentacles, to this new material beginning, this Queen of Swords, this could be you, Air Energy, and then we've got the Hierophant on the back, on the back of the deck, the Four of Pentacles, so the Hierophant is Taurus Energy, so they could have Taurus in their chart. But yes, I feel like you could be leaving a situation for karma water. 
um, to go to this new material beginning that will be coming in. You are this Hierophant. You are on a higher path and you know this. You know that this is the right path for you using your logic instead of emotions. So as much as you want to use your heart, you do have to use your logic and maybe leave a situation to get this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. What is this world for Pisces? What is this world? So world is Capricorn. So you've got the Queen of Pentacles. That's Earth Energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The Hermit on the back. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Wands. Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Okay. So the world... You could be reaching people all over the world with something that you're doing. You know, you're you can you know you are this queen in the pentacles energy, you know, that's you with your material and your wealth and your living in your beautiful castle. You have everything you need around you. You know this, this journey's coming in with the Three of Wands and then we've got the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is normally about collaboration. Um, but here on this card, there's only one person with the Three Pentacles. So maybe you're working all by yourself doing what you need to do. There could be people around you that, you know, have their ones out at you, but you are protecting your light, which is behind you in this card on the seven of, seven of ones. So you're protecting the light that you seek. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you need to do for you. Um, because this is the path you're supposed to be on. With the Hermit coming out, you're following the star and you're protecting the star. Where is it? You're protecting it. Okay. What is this tower? So we've got the Four of Swords, so air energy, healing. We've got the Empress, it's Aries, we've got the Seven of Cups, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles. On the back of the deck, we've got the Hanging Man. So this could be you, the Empress, Aries energy. She embodies all the queens, so she knows when to use um, what she, yeah, she knows when to use, you know, her swords or her cups or her wands when she has to, and she can control all of that. Um, there looks like there was a tower that maybe happened in your life. Um, take what resonates, but something could have happened to you that you need to heal, heal over. You need to heal and rest over. Um, and decide which decision is the right decision to make. Nine of Pentacles coming out, so that's Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You could be realizing that everything, yes, around you is everything you need right now. It's growing. This is your kingdom. So it looks like you need to heal maybe after a tower happened. What is this seven of swords for Pisces? 
We've got the Two of Pentacles. So someone that was like backstabbing. Someone that was juggling. Queen of Wands. Fire, Leo, Aries, Sag. And then we've got the Five of Wands. On the back of the deck, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like maybe there was someone... Someone in your energy that was, you know, hurting you and you have to walk like this to protect yourself now. You know, there could have been some kind of conflict that happened in your life, which made that tower happen. Um, someone could have been juggling. But I feel like when I look at this Queen of Wands, I feel like she's you and I feel like she's strength she's you being strong and being passionate and being following the path that you need to path and doing what you need to do for yourself she just looks like this warrior queen and the wheel may be turning in your favor, but it may be not. With, a, with the Ten of Swords coming out, that doesn't look very good. It looks like a betrayal, like that's what Ten of Swords mean. Swords, logic. We've got the Five of Cups. We've got the Knight of Wands. We've got the star Aquarius energy on the back. We've got the eight of cups. So yes, there could have been a betrayal in your life. Someone could have put all these swords in your back. You know, maybe not all at once, maybe one at a time, but eventually it has killed you. Um, Could be this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands, he has, you know, as I said before um, in other readings, they've got like a volcano at the back. So he's, he's like this Knight of, you know, he has a, like a destructive background. It's a destructive past. Or what's behind him in his world is like like a volcano, like erupts, it's like eruptions. Yes, this person could come in and out of your life. This person, this could be this person. They could have um, been upset over this swords. Like this could be even you that put the swords in the back. You know, looking through the clarifier cards, This person could be someone big. This person could have Aquarius in their chart. Um, she is also balancing in the water naked. So she's, you know, this could be you balancing naked and free, you know, trying to keep a level head, even though you did, um, maybe stab these swords in someone's back. As I said before, this could be this other person um, being sad over what's been lost, but not knowing that there's still two cups standing behind them. Um, you normally leave people out of your life because they are not living up to the standards that need to be um, met for you. Like with the Eight of Cups coming out on the back, um, you're leaving, even though there's lots of cups still standing, you're leaving it for your ten of cups. You want your ten of cups, you know, with this and with this two of ones coming on the back of the deck. You're trying to make a decision. What is right for you? Okay. So it looks like... 
there's a bit of drama maybe going on in your life at the moment there could be stuff happening in your relationships stuff happening in your friendships or family life that's destructive but you're trying to um have boundaries and do what you need to do to have a happy life for yourself um Yeah, I thought at first this could have been someone betraying you, but I feel like this could be you betraying somebody. But people have their reasons. Um, to do things, but everything that you do is meant for you, okay? So let's see, we'll get the Aphrodite Oracle cards out by Luli Cat Tarot and just see if there's any extra messages, any kind of energy wants to say to us. Sorry, it's my dog and cat playing. Obviously the cat is winning. Um, when I pre-shuffled and cleared the energy, I sort of wanted to see if there was some new energy coming in um but it feels like um this older energy is still around you and doesn't want this to end just yet you know you obviously know you deserve better than what you're getting right now in this situation, whatever it is. Three cards for Pisces, please, spirits. Three cards for Pisces. I never could forget you. Rescue me. I have to be selfish right now. On the back, you excite me. Okay. I'll just put that over there. Let's get some clarifiers out on these Aphrodites and see if we can get some, just a little bit more information. You deserve the best, I just want to say. You deserve everything. Your big heart, your big Pisces heart desires. What is this I never could forget you for Pisces? Strength, Leo energy. So maybe you helped build them into the lion they are today. How could they forget that? You are amazing. Rescue me, the hanged man. So maybe they're stuck in their mind. They want you to come in. I have to be selfish right now. The seven of pentacles. So someone that's procrastinating. Someone that's sitting there just contemplating life like they look ready for the picking but they're just standing there on the back of the deck the queen of pentacles that could be you handing someone something Okay, so now we're going to use my Intuitive Music Messages Oracle Cards, which I designed myself. I will have a link in the description below if you would like to purchase them. We'll get three cards today, please, spirits. Let's 
Terrible. Three cards for Pisces, please, Spirit. Three cards. Crazy on you, heart. Love is in the air, John Paul Young. And there must have been an angel, Eurythmics. On the back of the deck, Celebration, Cool and the Gang. So listen to these songs when the reading is done. They will have messages for you in them. I thank you again for coming to my reading. I hope you have the best birthday day, if it's your birthday or if it's coming up soon. Um, I hope you have the best day and I hope you have the best weekend and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.